Hey there, everyone. You know who this is. Yankee, the real deal messiah here with you on this uh, Thursday, September 26, 2024. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do today when it comes to YouTube content, and I will get into that. So, I, and let me just say it like this. This is going to be a busy day for me. Extremely busy day. But nevertheless, um, I want to talk about last night's Yankee game. Obviously, you know, there's other things that are happening in the world right now, especially here in the States with Hurricane Helene. I've been covering that like crazy. I'll get into um, what my plan is going to be with this storm in a bit. But last night, Yankees lose. So Baltimore takes the, the series, the last series of the season. And I bet Marcus Stroman wants to forget about this game. And I know Yankee fans want to forget about this game last night, but you know what this fan base, you know what us, you know, us as content creators, we don't forget. And we're certainly not going to forget about this series. Um, and not forget about the game, like I said, because... We got four games left. Four games left. Quadrugus, as we like to say in Portuguese. Yankees have to clinch the American League East. And based on what we have seen in these first two games, they're not ready for the postseason. They're not ready... To be a dominating team in the postseason. And I've said this. This is not a World Series team. And I know I sound like a broken record. Every time. I go on these rants. And I'm not even going on a rant here on the Yankees. Why? I'm not going to get my blood pressure all risen up. And all of a sudden have a stroke. Or have the neighbors complain. And have the cops come knocking on my door. But. You know, I digress on that. Things are not clicking right now with this team. And Aaron Baboon can make all the excuses he wants. You know, he could say, oh, it's right in front of us. He can bang tables and say, it's right in front of us. We don't forget what Aaron Boone has said to the media when the Yankees lose. All the snow jobs that he has said. My point is, he doesn't get it. And I always talk about the importance of a routine. Especially for starters. I know starters have to pitch every five days. A bullpen, I know they need a routine in the bullpen. But Marcus Stroman, and to all you Yankee dick riders out there, the Brian Cashman dick riders, the... The Aaron Boone dick riders, the the sheep of Hal Steinbrenner. You could say that, oh yeah, uh, Marcus Stroman, he, uh, he, he, this was a good signing. It's a, it's a solid signing. <laughs> He's not been a solid starter. I said it when this signing happened. And guess what? I'm right. And when someone is struggling. And then they start a game. For the first time in 15 days. Like Marcus Stroman. It's not a good setup. And the Yankees. They had to gamble last night. Because of the fact that. Nesta Cortez. Is on the injury list. And that sucks. That sucks with Nesta being on the injury list. Because Nesta Cortez has been freaking. Lights out last couple of weeks. So when this news came out yesterday with Nesta, I was like, damn, we are fucked, man. We're fucked. The Yankees had to take a risk, and they had to put Stroman in there. And guess what? That gamble did not pay off. And I'm not surprised by that, too. So, watching... This game last night, I, I turned that shit off. I watched an AEW Dynamite last night. Um, I didn't go there 
to New York this time around because, you know, I've been to a lot of wrestling shows this year. You know, I was in Philly for WrestleMania. Y'all know that shtick. But um, the first six batters, when they get hits off of you, that's a red flag right there. That is a huge red flag. And it's a miracle that the Yankees were able to limit the damage and escape with only three runs in that first inning. And the Orioles were just basically, they were going off on Marcus Stroman in this game last night. Six earned runs? They had like 10 hits off of him? This is what Baltimore did last night. Despite the fact this is a wild card team, Baltimore did what they had to do last night. Balls in play. They found those holes. Something that I wish the Yankees could do for once. And this is why things are not clicking with this team right now. Everybody is saying in the sports media, in the baseball media, oh, the Yankees are World Series favorites because they got Aaron Judge. They got Juan Soto. Gleyber Torres has been hitting well. Somebody that has watched this team since 1995, guess what? They're not a World Series team. And I'm going to keep saying that again. Gleyber Torres. We all know the bad run that he did. Jason Dominguez. Jason Dominguez is not ready for the out. He's not ready to play defense. I get the fact that he is a good offensive player. Don't get me wrong. And that's why, you know, they're putting in Alex Verdugo. This is a team that right now should have won the American League East. They need to win this game today. Because if you get swept by Baltimore, I will tell you this. Tomorrow, same time, I will go on a rant. I'm not ranting tonight. And I'm not even talking about it from a division title perspective. Just a moral standpoint. And trying to get, your goal is to try to get momentum going into the postseason. And guess who you're going to be facing this weekend? Paul Skankies. Paul Skanks, whatever you want to, however you say his name. Good luck going up against that pitcher who's going to, who should be the National League's Rookie of the Year, in my opinion. With what he's been doing this year for Pittsburgh. So, big picture, does it sting that the Yankees lost the first two games of the series? Absolutely. Are they in danger of losing the American League East? Not yet. I'm not going to panic over it. Because if this losing streak continues... Baltimore's going to have to win all of their remaining games. Do I think Baltimore's going to lose one game? Yeah. They're going to lose one game. If if they beat New York tonight, they're losing to Minnesota this weekend. Yankees will get the division. But I will panic on Saturday if the Yankees keep losing and Baltimore keeps winning. It's just an ugly way to finish the season. Even uglier when you think about the Yankees. They're going to be playing Baltimore again. You know that. They're going to be playing Baltimore in the divisional series. So, all I got to say is, fix your fucking shit. That is it for um, for this video. Of course, I'm going to be really busy today. Um... I plan on going live later tonight. Um, 
when uh, Hurricane Helene is going to make landfall, I am going to be doing the live stream. Um, we're going to be looking at the latest data um, coming out from the NHC. And, you know, that's when they do the hourly updates on the hurricane. So we're going to get into that. Um, I do have some good news and bad news. Um, good news is I did get the uh, Radar Omega. Bad news is I can't use it on my desktop. So the best thing that I can do is just um, show you guys the images um, of, of the storm. So see you guys. And, of course, uh, we will have the Michael K. Show. Uh, you know how I am with that. I will be putting the Michael K. Show up. Um, as well, until then, I'm out, guys. Peace, and, um, oh, yeah, and I do have a, a weather video coming later today as well, an extended one.